Plus 11 Universe, it's Xander, and welcome back to WWE 2K23 Universe Mode. We are here on Monday Night Raw. The road to SummerSlam has officially begun. And we are kicking things off tonight with the Ring General Gunther. With Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser by his side, Gunther has officially staked his claim to the WWE Championship one more time. It was made official after Money in the Bank just 48 hours ago. After laying out the WWE Champion to stand tall and, in, and making sure that Dom Mysterio couldn't cash in at the end of the night, Gunther has been awarded with a WWE Championship match. And this is due to the fact that Gunther has not been pinned in over six months. Of course, he won the Royal Rumble earlier this year, ended up losing his title shot at WrestleMania, but was not pinned in the process. In fact, the pin was stolen from him by the man who would win that triple threat, LA Knight, the Mega Star. And ultimately, Gunther has made one last play for the title. He has lost on three occasions for the gold in the past, but now we hear from Gunther after the attack on Edge at SummerSlam. I'm not going to waste your time. I'm not going to tell stories about my three failures in the past because those failures are what drive me. Those failures were failures. There is nothing more to it than that. I failed to beat Roman Reigns. I failed to beat AJ Styles. I failed to escape with the WWE title because of that coward LA Knight. But now there is no more hiding. There is no more running for a WWE champion and you're not going to have Dominic Mysterio to bail you out either. Del Ring General will be your next WWE Champion, because I will ensure you that Dominic Mysterio does not cash in to save you from me, Edge. You were one of the greats in your generation, but your generation is long gone. Your generation is long over. You are past your prime. You are on your way out. I should be at the top. I should be the WWE Champion. And now, with one last opportunity, that is all I need. And at SummerSlam, you are going to enter the era of the Ring General. Now bring me someone to wrestle. Well, here comes Gunther's opponent tonight, the leader of the Alpha Academy. Although that being said, he's the last remaining member of the Academy on Raw because if you missed the big announcement on Saturday after Money in the Bank, next Tuesday, one week from tomorrow, NXT is back in the LS11 universe. Otis, Akira Tozawa, and Maxine Dupree are all going to be involved with the NXT roster, which is extremely exciting. I'm very excited for NXT, and I hope all of you are as well. The retro series will be no more, so we're not really adding new content as much as we are just swapping one out. Because I could not add another series on top of all this. I already do too much. But I'm having fun. So it is Gable and Gunther. To start us out as Gable goes for him. Grabs a hold of Gunther and Gable going right out of the legs. Gunther wanted someone to wrestle him. Well, he's got a hell of an opponent tonight in Chad Gable. Who hits Gunther with a knee strike now. And Gable getting him back up to his feet now. Gable with a jab. Gunther headbutt connects into a big boot. Taking him down. And now Gunther goes for a leg drop. Chad Gable out of the way. Chad Gable right hook to Gunther again. Firing away at him here. Chad Gable goes for another knee. Gunther. With a boot in the face, kicks him across the leg. And now Gunther goes for a knee strike. Chad Gable got out of the way, and now Gable. Drop kick connects. And there's a kick. Gable, no. Gunther grabs a hold of him. Gunther, Gable slo floats through and takes him down. And drops an elbow across the head. Grabs a hold of him now. Gunther getting picked back up by Chad Gable. And now Chad Gable, jawbreaker from Gunther. And Gunther, no, Gable counters, and Chad Gable, forearm strike, into, head scissor takedown. Gable running in now, goes for an elbow, Gunther out of the way, Gunther, with a big takedown to the Olympian. He grabs a hold of Chad Gable, he gets him back up to his feet, and Gunther, with Gable, throws him across the ring, Gunther, big boot, taking him down, and now Gunther, 
Grabs a hold of Chad Gable, getting him back up to his feet. And Gunther, whoa, Gable kicks him in the leg. And Chad Gable with Gunther rolls him through into a cover. Gunther's now down. Chad Gable cover. No, kick out immediately from Derin Genral. And Gable now goes for Gunther, who counters. Gunther kicks him in the ribs. And Gunther turns Gable around. Gable counters with an elbow. And Chad Gable with a rolling kick. Taking down Gunther and Gable now. He's got the leg. Gable into an ankle lock. Ankle lock is in. Gunther crawling for the ropes. Gable has that ankle lock in. Chad Gable trying to force a submission here. Gunther's hand brushed the ropes. Is the referee going to call it? Now he does. Gunther runs back through. Drop kick. Floors Gable again. Now Gunther getting Chad Gable back up to his feet here. And Gunther boots him in the face. Chad Gable goes down. Ludwig introducing a chair. But we all know that's not really Gunther's M.O. Gable now kicks him again. No, Gunther counters. Gunther grabs Chad Gable. Here we go. Throws him off the ropes. Into German suplex. Into a cover. For the one. For the two. No, Gunther. Unable to put him down. Gunther now goes for another leg drop. Gable got out of the way. Chad Gable with a kick to Gunther. Chad Gable's got a hold of him now. Pulls him in. DDT. Taking him down. Gunther's drop. Gable grabs a hold of him now. And Chad Gable with Gunther back to his feet. Right hook connects. And Gunther... Being knocked in the corner. Gunther kicking Gable in the face. Boots him in the face. Down goes Gable. And now Gunther off the ropes. Went for a splash. Gable got out of the way. And now Chad Gable. Forearm strike. Knocks him into the corner. And Gable. He's got a hold of Gunther. What is he thinking here? Chad Gable. Turns him around. Here we go. Gable rolls the number one contender through into the Chaos Theory. One. Two, no! Gunther staying in it. And Gable now, here we go. Gable goes for the leg. He's going for the ankle lock. Gunther kicks him in the head. And now Gunther with a massive chop to Gable into a cover. Gunther's got him down off the chop. One, two, Gable kicks out. Gable is down. Gunther standing over him. Gunther. Runs in, goes for a boot. Gable runs out of the way. Rolling kick. Going up to the top rope. Gable is perched up high. And Chad Gable looking for... Went for a moonsault. Gunther got out of the way. And Gunther chopping Gable down again. Gets him back up to his feet now. And Gunther with another chop. Gable just folds like an accordion again. And Gunther went for one more. Chad Gable with an E-strike. Taking him down, but now G or Ludwig Kaiser up in the face of Chad Gable. And that's going to provide Gunther just a moment to get back up. Drop kick and Gable head first into that corner turnbuckle. Big knee strike in the face. And now Gunther grabs Chad Gable, pulls him in. And all, it, all he needed was one moment to stack him up in that power bomb. One, two, three. That's all he needed. Chad Gable, one moment of weakness is all you need for Gunther to be able to take over. A massive, massive victory there for the number one contender. We have more coming up on Raw right now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're backstage now with Mr. Money in the Bank, Dominic Mysterio. Dom, congrats on the win. How are you feeling after what happened on Saturday? Man, you know, the next wave's on top of the world. Unlike my deadbeat dad, who, like we saw on Friday, hit rock bottom. <laughs> and now we got the tag titles, and I'm going to be a world champion soon. And the next wave is... We all know! That if it wasn't for Jey Uso, you wouldn't have those, those Raw Tag Team titles. They'd be around the waist of the Judgment Day. Well, Finn, a win's a win, man. <clears throat> you might want to turn around. You know, how many times you gotta lose and blame everyone else before you realize maybe it's not just everyone else. Maybe it's you. Maybe you're just the loser. That's just a fact of life, you dummy. <laughs> yeah.
Well, we got some more action coming up next here on Monday Night Raw as here comes the megastar, L.A. Knight. Former WWE Champion, he seems to have been knocked out of the rankings though due to the events of Money in the Bank where he and Kevin Owens both came up short against Edge in that TLC match. But, I mean, to, to be blunt with it, the return of NXT means that the divisions have widened up big time. For Raw and SmackDown, there is a lot more elbow room around here if you look around the roster. Whereas before you had people fighting for TV time, now it now it feels like it's not going to be as big of a problem trying to get everyone on every show. That was a big that was genuinely a big part of NXT coming back was that the the Raw and SmackDown rosters were just too big due to not having somewhere for new people to go. So there were people just there have been people that have been on the roster for months that haven't haven't had a match before. So L.A. Knight tonight gets a bit of a, a rebound attempt as he's going head-to-head -head with The Miz. Former United States and SmackDown Tag Team Champion is The Miz. He and his wife Maurice just 48 hours ago came up short at Money in the Bank against the power couple of Johnny Gargano and Candice LeRae. Of course, Gargano not going to be on Raw these next couple of weeks. He's still going to be part of the Raw roster, but at the moment he is in NXT he is going to be in the inaugural NXT Championship Tournament. Well, the, the new inaugural, I guess, is the, the best way to put it, because the title is coming back. So Miz tonight gets a chance to knock off a, a very recent WWE Champion in the form of LA Knight, as he leads his wife down to the ring. The season has been very interesting for Miz. It really has. He started as the Raw GM. Or no, no. He started in a hardcore title feud with Dexter Loomis, where his wife pinned Dexter Loomis. Then he became the Raw General Manager. Then he lost the Raw General Managership. Then he became the United States Champion, became the shortest reigning United States Champion, and lost to Johnny Gargano. And that was all in the last four... That was all in the last 16 weeks. Oh, and his wife pinned him at WrestleMania. Can't forget that either. So LA Knight and The Miz, one-on-one. -on -one. Without any further ado, here we go. LA Knight starts it with an attempted clothesline. Miz catching a hold of him. Miz throws him over the top. Miz now grabs LA Knight. But Knight pulls him down in the ropes. LA back into the ring now. And LA Knight with a jab to Miz. LA Knight firing away at him now. Hits the ropes. And clothesline takes down The Miz. I gotta tell you. This is me talking, not not the commentator persona. I'm so excited for SummerSlam. This show is something that we have been we have been planning stuff for for over a year with a lot of this stuff. It's going to be an incredible show. I'm really excited for it. I hope you all are as well. We've already got three huge headline matches announced with Roman Reigns versus Batista, Edge versus Gunther, and and Cody Rhodes, Drew McIntyre, round two as LA Knight with a torture rack swinging neck breaker. And now Maurice trying to talk up LA Knight, trying to distract him here. Oh, and not to mention uh, four matches as well with uh, Tiffany Stratton versus Nikki Bella for the Divas title. We'll actually be seeing Nikki Bella later tonight. The uh, the Divas tomorrow will be defending their women's tag team titles later tonight as well. As Miz hits a massive DDT on the Mega Star. Miz celebrating like he's already won the matchup. Chops LA Knight, picks him up. Atomic drop knocking him back now and Miz... Has got Knight staggered. L.A. Knight kicked in the ribs and dropped with a DDT. Miz is getting fired up now, but the Mega Star back up to his feet with a clothesline takes him down. And Maurice again is trying to distract L.A. Knight, who hits him with a massive clothesline across the back of the head. Grabs a hold of him now. L.A. Knight counters. L.A. Knight kicks Miz. BFT. Simple as that. Cover. One, two, no! I don't know where Miz found the wherewithal to kick out of that, but he did. And now Miz, Omos and Nia Jax trying to cheer him on, but here comes Miz. He goes for a kick. LA Knight sidesteps him, kicks him for another. Blunt force trauma. Cover. One, two, 
That one got him. That's going to do it there. L.A. Knight knocks off the Miz. Big win there for the Mega Star tonight as Raw continues. Oh, what the? Judgment Day! Finn and Priest clearly take an exception to the skill issue joke. L.A. Knight cracked at them backstage. We know Finn and Priest want those tag titles. And we're seeing just how bad right now as they're making an example of L.A. Knight. South of Heaven. Followed by Coup de Gras. And Judgment Day make an example of L.A. Knight tonight. Backstage now with Grayson Waller who said he's got something to say. That's right. You know, now we've had a... Uh... Three Australian-born United States champions in the WWE. We've had Buddy Matthew Murphy. We've had Big Bronson Reed. And now, now we've got Rhea Ripley. I mean, come on. All of these Aussies winning the United States title, and none of them are even the best one. That U.S. title needs the Grayson Waller rub. It doesn't need to be around the waist of Rhea Ripley. You gonna do something about it, bitch? Oh. Ah. Uh, Rhea. Hello. Good day. Um, I'll be, I'll be seeing you around. Well, um, Rhea Ripley speaks. And, and as we go into this uh, women's tag title match, I am gonna, I'm gonna clear the air on that a little bit. So obviously that was an AI voice for Rhea, and I've said in the past that that was something I didn't want to do. Uh, to, to make a long story short on that, I, my, my wonderful wife has offered to voice some characters, but there's obviously people she cannot get the right voices for, because... Unlike myself, she she's not a voice actor. Um, and even then, there's voices I can't do in the men's division. There's a reason certain people don't talk, or when they do, I don't attempt to replicate their voice out of fear of it being extremely offensive. That long story short, uh, I have found some, some uh, AI voices that are ethically created. They are made with the original voice person's permission for this kind of content, and so... You, they might not sound like the people talking, but I refuse to, you know, for example, Cora Jade here, I refuse to clone her voice when that's not something she herself has consented to having happen. Especially because I do make some money off this video, off these videos. I don't want to just steal people's voices without their, without their consent. But that being said, back into universe mode here, we have a women's tag team title matchup coming up. Cora Jade and Roxanne Perez going to team up again. They've managed to put their differences aside for a little while here in the in due to the battles with the with the legends Trish Stratus and Lita. Of course, neither of them were able to challenge at Money in the Bank two nights ago because of uh because of Trish and Lita defeating them back at Unforgiven a few months ago now. And so now tonight Roxanne and Cora Look to get some gold around their waist. Of course, Roxanne, a former Raw Women's Champion, as these two, for the first time ever, team up for the tag team titles. And I actually, I will admit, uh, as you saw, Cora's got a new attire. I've got a new Roxanne attire mod as well. I'm working on, I'm working on modding a bunch of stuff into the game right now, especially with the introduction of NXT. There, there's a lot of characters that I now have mods available for. Uh, and when 2K24 comes out in about four months ish. WWE will move to 2K24 while Impact, um, AEW, and um, Ring of Honor New Japan, because those are really pay-per-views only, will stay on 2K23 for, for a couple months, probably. Until some mods can come out that can uh, relieve the pressure off Rey and myself. But here come the Divas of Tomorrow to the ring. The Divas champion, Tiffany Stratton, and the Women's Tag Team Champions... JC Jane and Electra Lopez. Of course, Stratton pulled that women or that diva's title out of retirement to crown herself as champion because she considers herself to be a modern day diva. And she believes that since she is unpinned and unsubmitted, she should be a champion. She recently knocked off Eve Torres to keep that championship, but now she's got what is her ultimate test so far. Coming up in just 26 days' time at SummerSlam, she's going head-to-head -head with one of the longest reigning Divas champions in WWE history in Nikki Bella. 
We don't see the Divas of Tomorrow all together very often, but tonight, the three of them are united for those women's tag team titles to be on the line. It's Cora Jade, it's Electra Lopez. Any further ado, here we go. It's Cora Jade going into the back of Electra Lopez. Lopez answers back, though, and Electra Lopez, forearm strike. And again, knocks her back, runs in, jumping neckbreaker connects. Has got her down now, and Electra Lopez went for an elbow. Cora Jade runs in, does press. Byron going at the head of Electra Lopez. She's got her down. Now Cora Jade went for a senton. Lopez out of the way. Electra Lopez runs in. Cora Jade blocked her into a hurricane runner. And now Cora Jade went for a senton. Electra Lopez out of the way. Lopez pulls her in. And Electra Lopez lifts her up for a power bomb. Cora Jade rolls it through. Not that you can see it because of the referee. Cover. One. No. Cora Jade unable to put her down there. Electra Lopez getting back to her feet. Cora Jade went for a forearm. Electra Lopez, forearm strike connects to Cora. And now Lopez throws Cora Jade over the top rope. And JC Jane, going to take her off the apron there. As Electra Lopez, whoa, swings Cora Jade around onto the apron. Hammering away at her. Clubbing blows here from Electra Lopez. Beats her across the chest ten times and takes her down. Tag is made to JC Jane. Cora Jade pulling herself back up to her feet, though, and Cora back into the ring. Hurricane run on the JC now. Runs in. Goes for a senton. JC Jane out of the way. JC Jane kicked her. Lying her back here. Chopping away at Cora Jade. JC Jane goes for a kick. Cora Jade went for one of her own. JC caught her, and now Cora's caught down, and JC Jane punches her down into the mat. Grabbing a hold of her now. There's a shot. Firing away on her now is JC Jane. Goes for another kick. Cora Jade runs through. Nobody home. Right hook connects now into a super kick. Cora now off the ropes goes JC and JC Jane splashes Cora Jade. Taking her down. JC Jane now picking her back up to her feet here. JC forearm strike to Cora. Taking her down. Cora Jade is down now and JC Jane gets her back up to her feet. Goes for a chop. Cora Jade drop kick knocks her back and Cora Jade. Tag is made. Roxanne Perez is in. Here comes the former women's champion for a double axe handle. And an enzakari from JC. Now JC Jane getting her back to her feet. Of course, Roxanne Perez didn't get a uh, didn't get a fair shot at the Money in the Bank briefcase just a couple nights ago due to uh, due to Trish Stratus and Lita keeping her from being able to have a qualifying match. No, JC stacked her up, but Roxanne kicked out. And Electra Lopez taking out Cora Jade. Roxanne Perez went for a double axe handle. JC Jane for a kick, counter for counter. JC's got a hold of her now, and JC Jane swings her back around into. Whoa, she went for the kick. Cora Jade taken down by Electra Lopez, but Roxanne Perez rolls JC Jane over into a cover now. Electra Lo Cora J or Roxanne Perez, no! Nearly snuck away with the win on that one. We nearly had new, new women's tag team champions. Into a jumping neck breaker from Roxanne, or from JC Jane to Roxanne Perez. And JC kicks her in the head as Cora and Electra are still going at it on the outside. Roxanne Perez got her with a kick off the jaw, taking her down. And now Roxanne gets her back up to her feet. And Roxanne kicks her in the ribs, pulls her in. Impaler DDT. Cover. One. Two. It's saved by Electra Lopez. And now Cora Jade. Or excuse me, Cora Jade's down. Roxanne Perez wiping out. Wiping out Electra Lopez now is JC Jane. Whoa, caught the kick. Forearm strike. Knocks back the knocks back the four champion. Got her with a kick. Did JC. Cover. One. Two. Kick out from Roxanne Perez. Cora Jade enters the mix. Close line. Takes her down. And now Cora. And Cora getting Roxanne back to her feet. Wait a minute. Cora Jade. Dropping her own tag partner. And Cora getting out of there as JC Jane kicks Roxanne in the head. And Cora just watches on as the Divas of Tomorrow retain. Cora Jade leaves Roxanne, feeds her to the Wolves essentially. And allows the Divas of Tomorrow to score the win and keep the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships.
Oh, and here comes Nikki Bella. She's running to the ring, but Tiffany Stratton is going to get out of there. And Tiffany Stratton seems to have, uh, seems to be face to face with the consequences of her actions. And the diva of tomorrow is getting the hell out of here. No, you dummy, I already beat you in a match tonight. I don't want another match with you. Yeah, well, you cheated to beat me. I don't see how that's even a thing. I didn't, your foot wasn't under the rope. You didn't get hit with a weapon. I don't know what you think happened. But I got problems of my own. I got those dummies in the Judgment Day to deal with. Gentlemen, what is going on with all the yelling? Well, let me tell you, Titus, this guy cheated to beat me earlier. No, 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 no. This jump here lost fair and square, and I'm trying to get my hands on Damian Priest and Finn Balor, those dummies of the Judgment Day, the incels that tried to lay their hands on a megastar for just pointing out that they got a real skill issue going on if they're trying to beat the next wave and they keep losing. All right, look, 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 look. Knight, you want a shot at the Judgment Day. Miz, you want a shot at Knight. They all want a shot at the Raw Tag Team title. So I'll tell you what. There's one solution to all of this, and that's that all of you are going to fight one another. What is he talking about? I, I, I don't know. Are we going to... We are not teaming up. No, not a chance at all. That's not what I'm saying at all, boys. That is not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is that if the Judgment Day wants a shot at the Raw Tag Titles, they got to earn it. LA Knight, you want a shot at the Judgment Day. You got to find a tag partner in Miz. You want a shot at LA Knight. Then you're going to have to find a tag partner to get in there with LA Knight and his tag partner. What, are you going to go crawl back to your seven-foot giant? No, 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 no. I know how dangerous you are. I'm going to go make a phone call. Ah, uh, well, likewise. Well, folks, we are going to have a United States Championship matchup up next, and it is not a rematch, obviously, as the former champion, Mr. 7 and 100 now. Jinder Mahal is down in NXT. He's going to be part of that championship tournament simply due to uh, being the original NXT title tournament back in 2012. But here comes the man who will be challenging tonight, the leader of Chase U, Andre Chase, and he's got his students, Duke Hudson and Thea Hale by his side. Andre Chase, a former hardcore champion, looking to make this a teachable moment tonight for Chase U. Looking to bring some gold to those lectures he gives. I know a lot of people were surprised when these guys weren't announced to be part of the, uh, the NXT reboot, but, uh, you know, we gotta, we gotta shake it up a little bit, you know? Can't just, uh, go one for one with the rosters. And these guys are growing on me, so... I see, I see a space for them on Raw. I'm very excited for NXT. It is a week from tomorrow. I'm so excited. I hope you're all excited as well. So, Andre Chase tonight, a shot at the U.S. title as he goes one-on-one. -on -one with Mommy. All rise for the Judgment Day. The United States Champion. I'm sorry, you're going to see the screenshot thing pop up. I got to screenshot this. Rhea Ripley. This is just an insane sight for me, okay? This is weird. You might get one more screenshot for the thumbnail. Who knows? I do apologize that I take screenshots during episodes. Sometimes I need to do that. But we've had it made official for Finn Balor and Damian Priest. It seems they're going to get their rematch for the Raw Tag Team titles soon, potentially. But it looks like LA Knight and The Miz might get thrown in there with partners of their choice, not with each other. They clearly made that... They made that very clear that they did not want to team up. So Rhea Ripley tonight with her first defense of the U.S. title since winning it in that shock open challenge at Money in the Bank. Could you imagine if coming out of SummerSlam we see Rhea as the U.S. champion and Finn and Priest as the tag champions? I That would be a thing of beauty if you ask me. Have you figured out that I really like these three? Yeah. It's not... I, I try not to let my personal bias affect Universe too much, but you know.
the U.S. title on the line. Andre Chase versus Rhea Ripley. Here we go. And the craziest and kind of scariest part is Rhea has actually said, whoa, Andre Chase would have liked Sweet. Rhea Ripley has said she wants to go for the women's world title still too. Rhea Ripley, she just plans to compete in both, she just plans to compete in both divisions. That's her plan and she's sticking to it. I respect it. As Rhea throws Andre Chase across the ring, spears him. And now Rhea coming off the ropes. Big drop kick connects to Andre Chase. You know, Grayson Waller talked earlier about the Aussies holding that U.S. title. It makes me wonder how Duke Hudson feels about all this. It's Rhea with a right hook into another one. Knocking down Andre Chase. Rhea putting the boots to him here. Rhea Ripley. Oh, well, speaking of the Aussie, Duke Hudson. Good Lord, the height difference. As Andre Chase back to his feet with a jab and a kick to Rhea Ripley. Andre Chase. Here we go. Figure four leg lock in on Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley, though, quickly rolling it over to make sure it doesn't stick. Rhea getting back up to her feet now, and now Andre Chase grabs a hold of Rhea, pulls her in, and Andre Chase started going right back where he started, but this time he hooks the leg of Rhea. One, two, no, Rhea kicks out at one. And now Rhea Ripley rolling towards the bottom rope, rolls out of the ring. Andre Chase goes up to the top rope now, and Andre... Looking to fly. No! As Andre Chase back to his feet. Rhea Ripley with a wicked spear to the Dean of Chase U. Is that what he is? I don't know. As Rhea Ripley throws him back into the ring. Sometimes I say things and they sound right in my head. As Rhea now putting the boots to him. Andre Chase back to his feet. Chase with a massive kick into Rhea's face. Yeah, that is a teachable moment. Don't proclaim it the teachable moment as Rhea Ripley is standing back up. Because she beats you and retains the U.S. title. Andre Chase, he did that one to himself. He did that one to himself. And Rhea Ripley, for another night, is still your United States champion. She's going to take on all comers, it would seem. Because Mommy is always on top. Oh, wait a minute. Rhea, look out. Grayson Waller. Rolling thunder from down under. Oh, and there's Braun Steiner of the, of the next wave. Judgment Day won another match with next wave and Steiner. Is taking down Balor, Braun Steiner. Takes down Balor. Oh, and there's Charlie Dempsey as well. The Raw Tag Team Champions assaulting, assaulting one of their challengers for SummerSlam. Oh, and now Bobby Lashley's assaulting the Hardcore Champion backstage. You can run off and play in NXT all you want. I'm going to be taking that hardcore title. And Lashley. Putting Gulen to sleep. Reverie's calling it Lashley's champion. It is main event time, ladies and gentlemen. As we have got a big triple threat matchup on our hands. Out first tonight is the prize fighter, Kevin Owens. Consider this triple threat to be, consider a little bit of a palate cleanser, if you will. The Raw and SmackDown rosters have been so, I'm not even going to say stacked. I'm going to say crowded. Because it's been crowded. Let this be a palate cleanser after Money in the Bank of, all right, a lot of the guys who were, uh, a lot of the guys who were taking up a lot of screen time or were getting thrown into matches that weren't doing terribly much are now back in NXT. NXT is back. We got three main event level stars here. Kevin Owens out first. And I think this matchup is really going to kind of set things, in, set things in motion for who could be the next challenger to either Gunther or Edge 
for the WWE World Championship after SummerSlam. Because, of course, after SummerSlam, we also begin brand-exclusive pay-per-views for Raw and SmackDown. Out next, here comes main event Jay Uso to the ring. But yes, after SummerSlam, we begin brand exclusive pay per views with the exception of the Big Five, WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, Money in the Bank, SummerSlam, and Survivor Series War Games. So next month, after SummerSlam, Monday Night Raw will get Clash at the Castle in Cardiff, Wales, and SmackDown. We'll get, uh, well, it was originally going to be No Mercy, but uh, we got an XT now, so I'll, I'll figure that out. I'm open, to I'm open to suggestions. So Jay Uso, he's on his own. His brother Jimmy was put out with injury a few months ago by Next Wave, and so he's gone solo. Well, that's also his brother, but you know what I mean. And now, finally... Former United States Champion, the Colossal, Bronson Reed. So Bronson Reed, the Colossal, a former United States Champion in his own right. So this is going to be a huge triple threat main event about to go down. Bronson Reed, Kevin Owens, Jay Uso. Without any further ado, let's do this. It's on as Kevin Owens goes right for Jay Uso, who answers back with a spinning wheel cut. Bronson Reed with a running shoulder block. Kevin Owens with the end of the back. Jay Uso with a headbutt to Bronson. And now Kevin Owens off the ropes. DDT. And Bronson Reed with a headbutt. Pulls Owens in. Throws him across the ring. Jay with a super kick. And now Kevin Owens grabs Jay Uso. Gets him into an electric chair and drives him into the mat. Down goes Jay. Kevin Owens has got him down. Jay super kicks the back of Kevin Owens' head. And now Jay hits the ropes. Oh, went for a baseball slide. Bronson out of the way. Owens knocks Reed back, knocking that chair out of the ring. Kevin Owens with a, with with Jay Uso takes him down, spins him out. Bronson with the save. It's gonna be one fall to a finish in this triple threat matchup. Like I said, no titles or contenderships at stake at the moment, but this matchup will give us kind of a good idea of where the where the momentum lies on Monday Night Raw as Jay Uso just flattens. Bronson Reed, and they hits both men with a super kick at once. I suppose if KO's got the ability to punch two people in the face at once, Jey Uso can kick two people in the face at once. It's an impressive skill. I, I need to learn it myself. As now Kevin Owens grabs onto Bronson Reed. He's got him up on his shoulders, and Kevin Owens takes him down. Jey Uso with a kick to KO. And now Jey Uso grabbed by... Grabbed by Owens. Owens with a suplex, taking him down. Owens putting the boots to him here. And now Bronson Reed back to his feet. Bronson headbutts him, taking him down now. And now Jay knocks him back. Super kick! Knocks him right into the waiting arms of Kevin Owens. And now Kevin Owens, what is he thinking here? Owens has got a hold of Jay. And now Kevin Owens with Jay Uso. No! Jay with a DDT. Jay Uso! Dumps Bronson Reed out of the ring. And Uso throws a super kick. I think he was anticipating Owens being back in the ring by now. But now he's caught him. Samoan drop to Kevin Owens. And Bronson Reed back into the ring. Super kick. Right hook connects now. Into another one. Owens. Stunner. Kevin Owens has got Jay down. Kevin Owens looking under the ring. Bronson Reed grabs Jay Uso, takes out the leg. Owens with a kendo stick shot. 
Hands Jay with it a couple times for good measure. Now he's going under Bronson. Takes him in the ribs. Bronson Reed. Neckbreaker to KO. Jay with a right hook now. And another one. Super kick. And now Jay caught by Owens. Kevin Owens with Jay. German suplex takes him down. Owens now grabs Bronson Reed, pulling him back up, and Bronson Reed, German suplex from Kevin Owens. Into a cover. One, Jay Uso with the save. And now Jay, oh, caught with a chop block from Owens. And takes him down. Bronson Reed now getting back to his feet. Has that chair ready. And Bronson. Whoa. Jay knocks him back. Jay Uso. With a super kick attempt. Bronson caught him. Bronson Reed now with Jay. Off the ropes. Goes for him. Owens. Whoa. Down with the ref. No one's going to be making any pinfalls or submissions for, for a moment here. As Bronson Reed gets knocked back. KO. Grabs a hold of him. Kevin Owens. Puts him in the ropes. Bronson Reed in the ropes now. Kevin Owens. Grabs a hold of Jey Uso. Throws him off the ropes. Back. Body drop connects. And now Owens grabbing some steps. Owens looking to bring the steps into play. But Jey Uso. Oh! Kicks him in the head. And. Super kick to Bronson. Pops Owens up. Samoan drop. Drops an elbow on KO. And now Bronson back up. Jay hits him with the kendo stick. It is all Jay Uso right now. Jay Uso showing why he was recently having a great showing in the World Cup. As down goes Bronson Reed. Jay Uso coming on the top. Uso splash. What the? That's Braun Strowman and Uncle Howdy by his side. We saw Uncle Howdy tell Braun it's time to come home. Several weeks ago, Braun with a power slam to Jay. And Uncle Howdy tells Braun, get him up. Uncle Howdy putting Jay to sleep. As Braun gets Jay up again and Braun Strowman with Jay. As Uncle Howdy... Dropping main event, Jay. And tells Braun to do it again. The family taking out Jay Uso. As Uncle Howdy now gets Jay back up again. And Uncle Howdy, Sister Abigail. Well, Owens, look at what just happened out there to Jay. Bronson Reed went for him. Owens. Goes for a stunner. Bronson Reed caught him in Bronson. Bronson Reed. Power bomb to Kevin Owens. And Bronson Reed to the top rope. For the tsunami. One, two, three. Bronson Reed, that is a massive win there for the former United States champ. Bronson Reed with the win. Thank you all for watching tonight. Tomorrow is the final ever retro SmackDown. The NXT is next week. Until next time, I've been Xander, and that was Universe.